How's it going guys? My name is James and recently Arby's announced that they're making a Wagyu burger. So because I wanted it, I looked up Arby's on my phone and it says it is 6,002 miles away. And then when I click on directions, it says directions not available. Um, and I suspect that is because of this. There's a big body of water called the Pacific Ocean between us and Arby's. I don't have a boat. But then I thought, okay, wait, I am in Japan. So why can't I just make it? So. Today we're gonna be attempting to make this burger. We're gonna run inside the store, grab some real Wagyu. Then we're gonna head over to the park and make the burger. This one looks better. I've never worked at Arby's. I've never worked at any fast food, but this is gonna be our little kitchen that we're gonna set up. We got our pan, we got some oil. We got some cleanliness first. Obviously we're not gonna be eating off this, but just get some of this stuff out. Okay, unlike Arby's, we don't have any just normal ground beef to mix it with. Here is our steak that we're gonna be using. Technically, Wagyu just means Japanese beef. Okay. We didn't have enough money in the budget for a meat grinder, so we ended up just getting a knife. It's a little bit sad that this beautiful sushi knife's first meal is going to be making an American burger. You gotta do what you gotta do. A lot of people have heard that cows are forced beer. Um, this one, they're fed, it's like, it's called biru miru. Um, it's like the wheat and the leftover byproduct of making beer. Um, they're fed that as a grain and it's supposed to just really make the flavor really, really nice. Hopefully it'll be almost as good as Arby's Wagyu burger. Okay, here here goes nothing. I don't know how to do this. I'm trying to make ground beef out of a steak. So it just cuts like absolute butter. Okay, is this enough? It's gonna be kind of like a steak burger. Now my wife is gonna shape the burger with the steak pieces. It probably has enough oil, but we're just not following a recipe, so we don't really know. Okay, we're getting this thing warmed up. I guess you're supposed to run it for two minutes, um, and then I'm gonna cut the vegetables now because this is almost ready to flip. Make sure that juice doesn't all get lost. Japan doesn't put orange food coloring in their cheese, so we're gonna have to use white cheese. If you ever want to make something American, just put more cheese on there. Okay, they didn't have hamburger buns at the store we were at. Okay, we stole these ketchup packets, but basically you just fold it in half, and then it squirts out both ketchup and mustard. Okay, and then there's our real Wagyu beef and cheese. And then, gotta throw some tomatoes. Here is our lettuce. And there you have it. There is our Arby's Wagyu burger here in Japan using real Wagyu. Now we're gonna let you know how it tastes. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Good. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, thanks so much for watching. We're gonna finish this burger and then probably cook the other one as just a normal steak. We just spent over 1 million yen on the next video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss that next video. Bye. Bye.